Our next animation is called the glitch animation. And to make it, generate your captions like we did before, open the effect panel and search for wave warp. Drag the wave warp onto your text layer, and then in the effect controls, set these values. Set wave type to square, direction to zero, wave height to five, wave width to 150, wave speed to 2.5, pinning all edges, then go back to the effect panel, search for transform and drag it onto the layer. In the effect controls, uncheck composite and shutter angle, and then set the shutter angle for 360. Then go to the start of your text layer, select the stop check to scale, and then uncheck this box here, and set scale for X to zero, but keep scale Y at 100. Then move a few frames forward and set the scale X back to 100. Then highlight all the keyframes, right click and easy ease them. Then go back to the start of your layer and hit a keyframe next to opacity and then set it at zero. Then go a few frames forward and set it back to 100. Highlight all these keyframes and easy ease them. And then go back to your effect panel, search for Gaussian blur and drag it onto your text layer. Set up a keyframe at the beginning of your layer for 10. And then when your animation is revealed, set the blurriness to zero. And then in the effect controls, select wave warp, transform and Gaussian blur. Right click and click save preset. Name it glitch animations and then apply it to your remaining captions. And then if you did it right, you should have captions that look like this.